Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Natasha, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my experiences getting a lash lift and tint. And if you don't know what a lash lift is, it's where you get your eyelashes permanently curled, like they get permed basically so that they stay up. And getting them tinted means that they apply something to dye them so that they are tinted darker than they naturally are. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the process and how it's done and what my experience with that was. And then I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on it and whether or not it's something I would do again and who I think this procedure would be best for. It's not really like a procedure, it wasn't that crazy. Please keep in mind that I'm only giving you my thoughts on my personal experience and I'm sure everybody, depending on what your lashes are like or what you like aesthetically, is going to have a different experience. So please just take what I have to say with a grain of salt. Please always do your research before you get a beauty treatment done. Um, just because I had a great experience doesn't mean that everybody will. Okay, so let's start with the price. For a one hour session of getting both the lash lift and the tint, I paid $65 plus tip. It really depends on, you know, the level of experience of the person doing it, what kind of products they use, and how long the treatment takes and stuff like that. And then they said that the lash lift and tint will last anywhere from six to eight weeks. Some people say two to three months. It really depends on your personal lash growth cycle. Your lashes naturally fall out and new ones grow in and after a while, all of your lashes are replaced with new lashes and that's the beginning of a new lash cycle. So the results will last as long as your eyelashes are on your eyes. But once new lashes grow in, they are not, they're not permed and they're not tinted. So it really depends on how short or long your personal cycle is. I think mine lasted just over two months. I think I started noticing um, new lashes growing in and not being as curled as the other ones probably around the just before the two month mark. And as for upkeep, the only thing that changed once I had the lash lift and tint was I stopped using a lash curler as often just because I really didn't feel like I needed it because my lashes were already curled. So that was nice. And next, let's talk about the process. Whenever you make an appointment and you go in, they ask you to fill out a form. You tell them if you're allergic to anything, you tell them if you've had this procedure done before. I'm sure every place will have like a different form, but that's kind of, you know, the regular thing that you do. And then the girl who did my lash lift and tint had me lay down on a fancy cot with a light above my head. She wiped off my lashes to make sure that I didn't have any extra makeup or oil or anything left on them. She made sure they were clean. And then she put two um, pads underneath my eyes and they were, they like stuck to my skin and she readjusted them so that they were comfortable so they weren't like digging into my eyes. And they kind of looked like eye masks basically. And they were just there to make sure nothing fell onto my face. And then what she did next is she took what I could describe as these little pool noodles and she put them on my eyelid and then she brushed my lashes onto the pool noodle um, with some type of adhesive or some type of product and made sure that they were all like curled in this in the right angle the way that I would want them to be curled and I'm gonna keep saying pool noodle because I don't know what it's actually called but uh, the size of the pool noodle will be different depending on how big your eyes are how long your eyes are and stuff like that so they cut them to make sure they fit and then once the lashes are in position she puts the curling step on them and she lets them sit one thing that the person did for me is she did not keep the curling product on my lashes as long as she normally does for other people because I have very thin hair. I have very thin blonde lashes and she said I would still have the desired result but she didn't want to keep the product on my lashes too long because she didn't want them to be damaged because they are so fragile. I really appreciated that. I still had great results even though she didn't keep it on as long and I thought that was nice that she kind of took into account the health of my current lashes uh, so that she wasn't like making my lashes fall out. And then once the product had been on my lashes for enough time, she tilted my head to one side, put a little like tray underneath my face, and then uh, washed with a washcloth and some water to get all the product off of my lashes, and then she did it on the other side. And then she put new pads under my eyes, new pool noodles on my eyelids, and then she put the tinting product on my lashes. And then kept those on for a couple minutes, rinsed them off again, and then she took a q-tip or a brush or something, and then she painted it onto my lower lashes as well, so my lower lashes were tinted too. Waited a couple minutes, washed everything off, and I was done. Pretty easy, didn't even take a whole hour. I think if you're someone like me who has lighter lashes, I definitely recommend getting the tint whenever you get the curl done, just because I really feel like it gives a better effect. Uh, the person who did mine told me that 
Everyone's lashes naturally are a little bit lighter on the end, so even if you have brown lashes, tinting them will kind of show that edge part of the lash and make it look like it's already longer, even though it's just tinting the lash that's already there. The only downtime with this procedure was that I wasn't allowed to wear makeup or put water around my eyes um, for 24 hours. So I just went makeup free the next day, and then the day after that I could start doing whatever I wanted. I got mine done at the beginning of February. I think it was February 4th, and now it is the beginning of May. It's been quite a few months later. I don't think I have any of my original lashes left. I think all new ones have grown in and so I don't have the lift or the curl anymore, uh, sadly. <laughs> and now that I've had it done and I've kind of gone back to my normal lashes, I do have a lot of thoughts about this treatment. So the first thing I wanna recommend, if you do get this treatment, ask the person doing your lashes to take a before and after photo. The person who did mine did them automatically and so it's a good thing because I kind of forgot, but it was really nice to be able to see a before and after and it's also something that I can share with you guys watching. Uh, so I thought that was really helpful and something I recommend doing um, basically when you get any beauty treatment done. Taking a before and after photo is just kind of part of the fun because you can see how much of a difference it made. I love that there was no downtime. I just had to keep water away from my eyes, which makes sense when you perm your hair, you're not supposed to get water on your hair for a certain amount of time too, so it makes sense that your lashes would do the same thing. Um, the day after, the 24 hours later, once I actually put mascara on my eyes, I was taken aback. They looked phenomenal. I wasn't even using a mascara that I liked that much, and it still looked fantastic. And the curl would last all day. Like when I went home, my face would be like melting off, but my lashes would still be curled and looking exactly like they looked that morning. It was amazing. Normally my lashes are very thin and so wearing mascara throughout the day, they'll kind of get weighed down and they'll start to fall. But with the lash lift, they stayed curled all day, which is really cool. I also wanna point out that I have sensitive eyes and I didn't have any irritation any discomfort whatsoever when getting the procedure. The person who did my lashes was very professional and made sure that nothing got in my eye, was really great about it. And I will leave her information below if you're in the Pittsburgh area and want to get the procedure. I definitely recommend her. I'll put her information below. So there are three types of people that I think this treatment would be really beneficial for. The first one are people like me who have very thin blonde lashes. It was so cool to see what my lashes could do on their own because you figure it's just your lashes they're just being you know pushed up and they're being tinted so they're actually being given a chance to shine uh, so it was cool to see what my lashes were like but getting them tinted also made a really big difference the second type of person that i think this would work for is if you do already have dark and thick lashes but they point downward this really helps to fight that and keep them upward so even if you already have thick and full lashes this will really just make them pop because it actually lets your lashes show and the third type of person and the, third and the third type of person I think this would work for are people who want an alternative to lash extensions. So lash extensions and a lash lift are two completely different things. A lash lift, like I explained, is where you're just perming your own lashes and it's your own lashes there. A lash extension is where they put individual lashes between your existing lashes to make them fuller and longer looking as well. It's also got more upkeep. You're supposed to get them touched up and redone every couple of weeks. So it's more of an expensive procedure or treatment to get. It also gives different looks like the lash extensions make your lashes look longer and thicker because they're adding more lashes to your lash line. The lash curl is just your own lashes being curled. So they're two different procedures. They do two different things, but I think that they're similar enough that if you want to try lash extensions, but you don't know if it's worth the investment and all the time and all the upkeep and everything, trying the lash curl and seeing if that's good enough might be a good choice for you. Unfortunately, because the lash lift and tint only last for a couple months, I don't really think I can justify getting it done every two months, spending the $65 multiple times a year. I just don't really have the budget for that. So it's not something that'll get done regularly, but I really enjoyed it and there are a lot of times where I feel like I would get it done. So definitely gonna get something like this done before I get married and before I start taking engagement photos and stuff. I'm not engaged, I'm not planning on getting married anytime soon, but whenever I do have the big day, having them already curled will just make everything look nicer. I think it'll photograph more beautifully too, and it'll just be one less thing I wanna worry about. So any event, anything where I'm gonna be taking a lot of photos, maybe if you're someone who goes to a lot of events during the holidays or goes and travels and sees a lot of people and you wanna look nice for photos, um, getting it done for the holidays might be a good idea. And also, if you're the type of person who goes to the beach and you still kind of wanna wear some makeup to the beach, getting the 
this done before you go on vacation, it'll be like one less thing to worry about while you're there. You don't have to worry about getting waterproof mascara or wearing certain makeup. You can already just have them curled and looking good on their own without having to wear any makeup. So if you're the type of person who um, likes to do that kind of thing before vacation, this is also a really great idea. And really depending on your lifestyle and your income level and what you're willing to spend your money on, this may be something you're considering. It might be something that you don't really think you would ever want to do and that's perfectly fine. I just wanted to share my experience with you. I had a really great experience and it was just really fun to do. I imagine I'll get it done again at some point, um, just not regularly, and I just wanted to share my thoughts. Have you guys ever had this done? Have you ever had your lashes lifted or tinted before? Have you gotten lash extensions? Have you gotten both and do you think one is better than the other? Just give me your thoughts on your experiences down below. And in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!